Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the 10 cheapest modifications for your Chevy Silverado. I'm gonna be going from the cheapest mod to the most expensive mod. And make sure you guys stick around till the end as I'm gonna be going over my favorite modification last. Let's jump into it. The first mod on our list, and it is completely free, is going to be debadging or taking the decals off of your truck. I still have the badges on as I like the look of them, but I did not like the look of the decals. It was just a big four by four on the side of the truck. Obviously this truck is four by four. I don't need to be letting people know and it made it a much cleaner look for this truck and just matched the whole aesthetic I'm going for. So this mod comes with a price tag of completely free. The second cheapest mod that we have on our list is these inserted tailgate letters. Without them, it's just an indented Chevrolet and it doesn't pop at all. These tailgate letters allow it to really pop and give your truck a way better look. This mod comes with a price tag of $23.99. The third cheapest mod on this list is going to be to black out your badges. The chrome doesn't look bad, I can't admit that, but for this specific truck, the front bumper is red, the back bumper is red, and the chrome really doesn't match anything on it, so I much prefer the blacked out letters. You can buy these letters, you can take the badges off and then put the black ones on. You can just buy them on Amazon, or what you can do is you can take Plasti Dip and actually coat the silver ones or the chrome ones on like I did. The price tag for this mod is $24.50. The fourth cheapest mod on this list is going to be getting a stubby antenna. I recently just installed this because it gives it a much more minimalistic look than that big towering antenna that nobody really needs anyways. Most people live in the 21st century and they have satellite radio or they just listen to Bluetooth from their phone. So no real need to have an antenna for better radio reception. Also, if you live in town, you're really not gonna have any radio reception problems anyways, and this just does the job perfectly. The price tag on the stubby antenna is $35. All of the products that go into this video will be linked down below, guys, so make sure to check those out. The fourth cheapest mod on this list is going to be getting LED reverse lights. These are way brighter than the stock halogen bulbs that this truck comes with. Not only is this going to be increasing the visibility of when you're backing up, but it's going to increase the safety if you have a small child, a dog, an object. Behind you, you're going to be able to see that a lot more clearly with these tail lights. And overall, they just have a way better look to them than the stock halogen bulbs. Prices can vary on these, but for these specific bulbs, I got them for $40. The sixth cheapest mod on this list is going to be getting yourself a leveling kit. This specific leveling kit is from Rough Country. It is a two inch leveling kit, and it's going to give you a way better look to your truck. I hate the rake in the front, so why not get that leveled up with a two inch leveling kit? These are extremely cheap and fairly easy to install, and the price tag for this leveling kit is $53. Our seventh cheapest mod on this list is going to be getting yourself a light bar. I really like this light bar as it can be mounted inside the grill for that minimalistic look and you're not putting it on the bumper or on the top of your truck where it's kind of obnoxious and it's nice and clean looking inside the grill. This light bar is going to increase your visibility at night, whether you're in the back roads or you're gonna be on a deserted highway, this is gonna be a great option for you guys. This mod is going to cost you $125. Our eighth cheapest mod on this list is going to be another lighting option with upgraded low beams. The stock low beams on this truck were halogen bulbs and these LEDs are way better. These ones specifically are from Headlight Revolution and I absolutely love them. I can see way better in the dark now and not only that, but these specific bulbs are leveled properly so you have a nice cutoff line and you're not going to be blinding oncoming traffic and I never get people flashing their lights at me thinking that I have my high beams on. This mod is gonna cost you $225. This ninth mod is one of my favorites with a bed mat. I don't know why more people don't buy these bed mats, but it allows everything in the back of your truck to stay exactly where you want it. It's not gonna be sliding around back and forth. Even with a bed liner, this is extremely slippery and stuff can slide around really easily. But once you get it on the bed mat, it just wants to grip and you're not gonna have jerry cans flying across the back of your truck. And I absolutely love it. This mod is gonna cost you $227. And the 10th and final cheapest mod on this list and my personal favorite, I will never own a truck without these, is our floor mats. These floor mats protect the truck so nicely. If we're looking underneath, the truck looks brand new, even though it has 85,000 kilometers on it. They are so easy to clean. You just take a pressure washer to them and the inside of your truck is going to look brand new. All the dirt stays on top. Everything is just way neater and way easier to clean. And I absolutely love them. Depending on what brand you go with, these are gonna set you back $250. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite cheap modification is and what other cheap modifications I may have missed. 
And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. There's gonna be two other videos on the screen right now that I think you guys are really gonna like, so make sure to check those out. Until next time, guys, take care.